All right, left lane drivers, it's a pet peeve for some that will soon be against the law in Oklahoma. Starting November 1st, you can't drive in the left lane unless you're passing. A few other restrictions as well. And joining us to talk about this is two Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers here this morning. We have Trooper Dwight Durant and we also have Captain Paul Timmons this morning. And we thank you both for joining us thank here to talk about this law. This law has lots of folks talking because, right. you know, whether it's the left or the right lane, people have something mm -hmm. to say about the way people are driving. Captain, let's talk about what is this law. Tell us what the law is. Well, there were some changes made to the law this year. The law's been in place for a long time, and the changes that were made this year brought the state more in line with the surrounding states and probably more states that across the nation. So what it, what it talks to or what it speaks to is people that just continuously drive in the left lane, you know, for 10, 20, 30 miles at a time. And uh, it causes a problem, you know, and I think it's probably one of the ma major causes of road rage when somebody stays in the left lane and refuses to move over. Trooper Durant, let's talk about this. This law was already on the books. Mm -hmm. So what makes this different come November 1st? Well, as the law is right now, you can travel in that left lane. You're just not allowed to impede. If you're in the left lane and a vehicle comes up behind you, you're required to get over and let it pass and you can get back over. Uh, November 1st, they have changed the law where you're no longer allowed to travel in that left lane except to pass or other circumstances. If there's a parked emergency vehicle on the shoulder or you're exiting to the left. Why do we need this new law? Why? Public safety. And, and describe that. What is happening now that you're seeing on the road from left lane drivers just hanging out over there too long? We've all seen it. Uh, let's talk about the turnpike between Tulsa and Oklahoma City. We've all seen the semis that are side by side doing about five under. And what that does is that that creates a problem behind them. You'll have a dozen cars behind those two semis. All of those cars are jockeying for a position to try to get around these people. They're getting impatient. And we don't want to admit it, but it does cause road rage. We know it. we've taken the calls on it. We go out and respond to them. So hopefully this will prevent that. It's also a, a public safety issue where if you have a first responder, a fire truck, police car, ambulance responding to a scene, that left lane will be clear. How do you gauge that? How, what, what is the measure by which you can tell someone has been in the left lane too long? Uh, it's gonna take a lot of common sense and good judgment on uh, uh, enforcing that law. Uh, and I think one of the things also is that, you know, if the traffic starts to back up and uh, uh, you see someone that's been in the left lane, you know, and, and people have the the idea that sometimes if they're in that left lane that because I'm driving the speed limit, it's okay. But like Trooper Durant has said, you know, that's probably one of the leading causes for road rage. And um, our main concern is public safety, trying to make the highways as safe as possible and trying to reduce the uh, instances of road rage or maybe instances where emergency vehicles need to get through. Are there any exceptions to this rule on our highways? We've talked about here in the metro where, you mm -hmm. know, it's two lanes and it's rush hour. Obviously, this law wouldn't apply. Let's talk about where this applies and, and where it doesn't. The way the law says is multiple, multiple lane highways. Okay, so, and, and I'm sure some of your viewers are, are asking if you're going down a four lane road, uh, say PN or somewhere like that, and uh, can you travel in that left lane? If there is a left turn access, if you're turning left, you're preparing to turn left, or you can, you can pull onto that roadway from the left, um, you're going to be able to travel in that left lane. Those are not the roadways that we're concerned about. What we're concerned about is what I described to you, these areas out in, in these, these long stretches of roadways where we're having these issues in the road rage, and, and which is resulting in crashes, which is causing property damage and personal injury. Real quickly before we head to weather, what about... Um a warning. Are you going to start out with warnings? Because I can just imagine somebody not really knowing about mm -hmm. this, you know, this this change in the law, and suddenly there's a $235 fine that they're facing. Well, I think that, um, you know, we've tried to educate, and I think that you know, it's going to be up to the officer's discretion when they make their traffic stop. They'll have the discretion as to whether or not they write a citation or issue a warning. So, you know, as far as uh, uh, that's concerned. You know, it's going to be up to the individual officer when they make that stop. Hopefully, uh, you know, we've done a, a decent enough job of getting the word out and people are aware that this law goes into effect November 1st. 
Okay, don't go anywhere. We've got viewer questions now. This has just been something that people have had so many questions about and have had, you know, concerns and accolades and all the rest.